Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The U.S. military is always on the cutting edge of defense technology. That includes high-powered weapons, supersonic aircraft, futuristic watercraft, and even four-legged robots. This robot dog was officially called LS-3 for Legged Squad Support System. It was once thought to be the next significant advancement in soldier safety, but the canine-like machine never made it to the battlefield because ultimately, its two-stroke go-kart engine was too noisy to be a good soldier. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, began funding the development of the LS-3 in 2005. In partnership with the Marine Corps and engineering and design company Boston Dynamics, it was created to be a mechanical pack mule to walk alongside soldiers. Nicknamed the Big Dog, the plan was for the LS-3 to be able to transport heavy military supplies so soldiers would have what they needed as they traveled through icy or rough terrain that a vehicle couldn't access. Rather than wheels or tread, this robot, like a dog, used four legs for movement and stability, allowing it to sidestep, leap, and tiptoe along steep slopes and over rocks and boulders. So we've tested stream crossings. We've gone to the mountains. Uh, in 29 Palms, California. Uh, we've tested a lot of East Coast woods and mountains, so we really are trying to go to as many different terrains as we can. The Big Dog was also going to be groundbreaking for soldier safety. Using onboard sensors, it was expected to carry supplies and equipment for soldiers in order to reduce the load that they had to carry during combat operations. Over the course of its development, the LS-3 was made more and more autonomous. Eventually, it was able to follow humans automatically and even respond to basic voice commands like follow, sit, and stay. Unfortunately, the LS-3 Big Dog eventually failed because it was just too loud. U.S. Marines feared its noisy engine would give away their location, and the robot could not be the stealth wartime chaperone engineers had hoped it would be. At the end of December 2015, the project was discontinued. Other robot dogs are still in the process of being developed, but are much smaller than the original big dog. While the LS-3 was far from the first futuristic military technology that DARPA created, with the robot's canine-like shape, it may have been the most intriguing. DARPA has always based its work on an understanding of current and future national security needs. 
Advanced manufacturing will always be a high priority need for DOD, and I expect that DARPA will continue to be called on for leadership that benefits the nation and the world. Historically, DARPA has always been dedicated to using breakthrough technology for national security. The agency, which is under the Department of Defense's jurisdiction, works with innovators inside and outside of the government. It's been responsible for the development of 3D design, affordable missile production, and voice recognition, among others. But all DARPA research is connected to its long-term goal of leveraging data and information technologies so they can become ever more helpful to humans. Another failed DARPA project is the Ground X vehicle. The original mission was to create a safer military vehicle without adding too much armor around the body and wheels. The idea was that by focusing on protection around the cockpit, the driver and passengers would be safe and the vehicle would still have mobility. But that protection came at a cost. The X vehicle was designed to be windowless, and the pilot was forced to use a virtual reality screen to drive in real time, thanks to sensors and cameras outside the vehicle. In a final phase two demonstration, drivers and commanders in a windowless recreational vehicle successfully switched among multiple virtual perspectives to accurately maneuver the vehicle and detect targets of interest during both low and high speed travel. But ultimately, the X vehicle was axed. This decision was partly due to experiences during combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, where improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, proved deadly to lightly armored vehicles. Another DARPA program now extinct is the Rolls-Royce X-Plane. The idea for this futuristic, unmanned, and hybrid-powered aircraft began in 2017. Featuring a Rolls-Royce AE-1107C turboshaft engine that could power three Honeywell generators, the plane would potentially have the capability to take off and land vertically. Artistic renderings of the X-Plane show it lifting off like a helicopter, then, the plane reconfiguring its turbines so that it could speed forward in flight. The experimental plane never got off the ground, literally and figuratively. Its cancellation was announced in 2020. Leaders of the project said it wasn't a total loss. The hybrid gas and electric power sources for this hypothetical aircraft are now feeding into other research projects. DARPA sourced more ideas from brilliant minds during its Robotics Challenge. This competition was held between 2012 and 2015. The $2 million prize and the notoriety of being a winner aimed to encourage the development of new age robots that could do complex tasks in dangerous environments such as help during a natural disaster. Teams from around the world were allowed to participate in the challenge with the backing of robot research and development organizations. Each team was required to design a robot essentially from scratch.
they created not only the hardware, but software, sensors, and human-machine control interfaces. These assets would hopefully allow the robots to complete a series of challenging tasks selected by DARPA for their relevance to disaster response. In competition, a televised event that draws spectators of all backgrounds. The robots attempt to climb stairs and repair or build a structure. The hard work is not in vain. As aforementioned, the team with the machine that does best takes home $2 million. Second place gets one million, and the third, 500,000. Robots are not always the heroes. Sometimes, they play the villain. In this hostage military drill, they are programmed as mock kidnappers. As bullets rain down, the robots make autonomous decisions, such as changing direction or moving faster towards the soldiers. Training on these unpredictable moving targets helps members of the military prepare for a real-life hostage situation. So they're all talking to each other. They're really cool because it puts a lot more of the, here's how hard it is when a target's actually moving into it. And perhaps the most essential robots in the military are those that help to manufacture and maintain equipment, including aircraft. This 22,000 pound robotic system is the first multi-purpose robot designed for use on an aerospace factory floor. In this demonstration at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio in 2018, the robot shows its capability of using sensor feedback to work in a localized environment. In this particular situation, the robot is sanding a mock C-17 part, a tedious task that would likely take a human much longer to complete. Now that time is freed up for a human mind to work on a more critical and creative assignment. Speaking of tedious, washing down a jet can now be completed by robots as well. Riding on tracks, the machines are better able to reach the nooks and crannies on all parts of the aircraft. The robot's mobility cuts down on time to get the job done. If a person were cleaning this airplane manually, it would take time to manually move a platform up and down and around the jet. Not to mention, carrying a hose would be burdensome. The robots can stretch their machine arms to reach atop the jet and also beneath its belly. The thorough shower helps maintain the lifespan of the plane by avoiding a buildup of dirt or other elements that would corrode sensitive parts of the aircraft and its weapon system. While not every robotics project is a success or works out according to its original plan, continuing to research and develop an autonomous technology is important to keep the U.S. military world class. From the LS-3 Big Dog robot to the concept of an unmanned aircraft that can take off like a helicopter and fly like a plane, these projects may no longer be in production. Still, 
The lessons learned in their development are essential stepping stones for scientists, engineers, and military personnel to understand the capabilities of robots and how they can help keep the country safe. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.